Hi, welcome back to part two of this monster Goodwill outlet haul. If you didn't watch that video yet, it's the first half. Ugh, it's actually not a half, it's like a third. Anyway, I'm continuing from a giant haul that I did earlier this week at the Goodwill bins. You pay by the pound. When I go, I spend all day because it's a two to two and a half hour drive each way. Um, there's nothing spectacular, no Gucci, no Prada, um, but lots of bread and butter and that's what pays my bills. So we're just gonna get into it because the last video had a really long introduction and I don't wanna do that again. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, this is a cool brand women's t-shirt size medium. Uh, the cool shirts don't do as well as the pants, but I still pick them up. This is, oh, I thought this was really funky. Riot Society. Um, but I just thought that this picture was really weird, which makes it really cool. It's like panda bear riding a giraffe, drinking out of a red solo cup with sunglasses. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> I did look up the comps. They don't look fabulous, but somebody needs this. I couldn't let it go to a landfill. I find I buy a lot of stuff that I just can't let go to landfills, even if they don't make me a lot of money. They're still fun to find them a new home. And I actually get the best feedback from those ones because people are so thrilled to like find something super funky. So you can totally see the reflection of my Roku in the fish tank. Sorry. I hope it's not too distracting. Anyway. These are some free people shorts, size 27. They have cute little lace. Looks like it has some hangy do's. Yeah, it's not ripped, it's just some, I need to do a little bit of work. But these are cute, somebody wants them. Good festival shorts come summertime. <clears throat> Sorry, that's in a bin and a bag, it's really. Full. Okay, so like I said in the last video, I do buy kind of skater surfer brands. They tend to do well for me. This is just a women's Roxy pullover hoodie. The Roxy spell out on the back. It will not make a lot of money. It will sell. Size medium. Roxy. It's fine. These are American Eagle. I don't always grab American Eagle. I feel like all resellers say, I don't always grab whatever the brand is, and we all say it all the time, but we are grabbing it. It's kind of funny. So these are the jeggings. Um, I feel like I might have grabbed these. No, they're too big for her. I was gonna say, I think I might have grabbed these for my daughter, but. Um, these are just really light washed, really distressed jeggings by American Eagle. The more distressed and lighter wash, the better on these. Um, I do sell distressed American Eagle jeans every time I list them really quick. So I keep buying them. Oh, yeah, I was just gonna say, you know another brand I always think I shouldn't pick up and then I do. Lucky. Case in point. I'm not going to button all these up. These are some Lucky brand button fly dungarees size 33. These are just men's um, Lucky jeans. I actually feel like the men's ones, um, oh, Hendrix jean long length. That part is usually almost always ripped off. So that's kind of fun that it's not. Anyway, I find that men's lucky jeans tend to do pretty well for me. I did, however, grab women's lucky jeans this time at the bin. Sometimes when you drive so far and it's not like a stellar day, you just start grabbing whatever you can. 
that's going to make it feel like it was worth driving all that way. Again, there was nothing fabulous in this haul, but there was some fun stuff. There was a lot of bread and butter, and again, that's what pays the bills. I haven't gone through and like fixed any of this. I'm really sorry. I don't have any idea what this is. Triple five. I don't know anything about this. I don't know why I grabbed it. Can you even see it? I don't know how y'all do this, all you resellers. I can't do it very well. Triple five sole, extra large. I guess I must have just thought it was interesting. I don't really know. I don't know why I bought it. I do find that these kind of like, not military, but military style things do okay for me. Um, come on. There we go. I don't really know why I bought this. Quality garments, triple five sole. Oh, that's a better tag. Yeah, I don't know. Let me know if you know anything about it. I have no idea why it's in here. <laughs> you know, I think um, I might have put some stuff in my cart and then meant to sort it later and didn't. It's fine. Almost everything eventually will sell. Just maybe not for much. Anyway, this is a Wrangler button-up kind of a chambray denim, but fully lined with this fabulous like teddy bear. It's not Sherpa, but it's kind of that style, like teddy bear coat lining. And then the arms are quilted, um, super great for cold weather, size extra large, great condition. I couldn't leave it there. I thought it was super cute. <laughs> Excuse me, the dust is getting to my nose. So these are go-go jeans. <laughs> Again, I don't pick them up all the time. These are size three. I actually thought my daughter might wear these, um, but they're super distressed. They also have a raw hem at the bottom, which she's not a super fan of, so she may not get them. Uh, they don't have a style number or anything. Go-Go is so not anything, but the fact that they're light washed and super distressed and a dollar means they're worth grabbing, style only. I just, the big pile of stuff just totally collapsed. Okay, these are just Wild Fable from Target. They are, however, still have their tag on them. They are black, they are distressed in kind of a fun way and they are a size 18 medium rise mom jean i would not have bought these if they were used but new with tags i can probably get 15 dollars for them they're plus size which i really like to have in my store i find it really easy to find plus size tops but not plus size bottoms so to find some new with tags i'm gonna buy them every time this is another one that I can't really tell you why I bought it. This is just American Rag, which I almost never buy. Extra large. It's supposed to be like a pilot jacket, I guess. It has some patches. Um, yeah, I don't know. Apparently this is a haul full of, I don't really know why I bought it, items. This is totally just an infinity scarf. I think it's Muck Lux. Um, yep. I may wear it. Uh, I've had my thyroid removed and so one of the things that that means is that it's really hard to regulate body temperature. Um, so I love warm things. This is a Disney Parks t-shirt. 
I pick these up when they're at the bins. People love to buy these for their Disney trips. I do. We are a Disney family. I love to buy our souvenirs ahead of time. This is grumpy. It says, I had fun once. It was awful. How can you not have this shirt? It's a size large men's. It's fabulous. Okay, what are you? You are, oh, why did I buy that? Oh, yeah, okay. So this is also new with tags and another thing I would not have bought if it wasn't. It's just this new brand. I think that's Kohl's or something. Um, just a black sweater, but it has this cute kind of white flowy peekaboo thing that comes out the side. Oh no, it's Fred Meyer. So, but it's also a size 1X, so it's very cute, plus size. Um, nice weight sweater, really great for the season. I probably would have bought that even if it was not new with tags, based on style alone. This is a fun vintage shirt. It has no tag. It has funky seams, so I think it might have been handmade. The way that these buttonholes are... It just looks like somebody made it. But maybe they didn't, but it has no tags at all. But it's checkered, it has pearl snap buttons, it has tab sleeves, I think it's probably about a medium, like a women's medium. The pockets are so adorable. It's like 70s, I, I the fabric is totally vintage, I love it couldn't leave it. Okay, what are you? These are Izod Golf men's shorts. They will also go in a lot, in a bundle, size 30. I will lot these up um, with a shirt or two or another pair of shorts or something. I totally just dropped the whole bag of stuff over out of my reach. Yep, I did. Okay, this is a cut loose. Cut loose is a good, typically lag and look brand, although I'm not sure I'd call this cropped tank top lag and look. Um, it's 100% cotton, it's mustard yellow, it's a good brand. And look, there's a matching green one. Same size, both mediums. Oh, maybe not. Okay, so the yellow one's a medium. This one has no size tag. I will compare them, I suspect. It's also a medium. They were together in the bin. This is a pair of really bright Nike running shorts. Yeah, mm -hmm. the camera's not going to show how bright those are. They are just dry fit. They have the back zippy thing. They have the little built-in unders. They're a size XXL. I might sell those alone. Um, Nike Running and Nike Golf. I can sometimes sell on their own without lotting them up, so we'll see. Okay, this... Um... <laughs> I I had to buy this just because. So it's this puffer vest, right? It looks really nondescript and kind of boring on the front. Oh, look at the back. Viva la Juicy. It's Juicy Couture. I don't think that's a thing anymore. Um, it's also reversible. It has a J for the zipper pull for Juicy. Yeah, I thought it was funny. Someone's gonna like it. Oh, I just dropped things again. Okay, these are Pilcro and the letterpress. Yeah, so these and some others that are in there somewhere. I have been at the second bins for a long time. I was beat. Everything was just kind of like all Columbia and Nike and most of it pretty trashed and I just was really bored and I had a two and a half hour drive home so I decided to do one more bin and it was full of jeans and there were several decent decent 
ones. So these are Pilcro in the letter press. They are that size 32, which is like a super awesome size. I think it's, I think they're anthropology. I don't really know. I think they are. They're black. Every time I've had Pilcro and the letterpress pants, they sell. They're stretchy too. And 32 is like a super awesome size. Okay. This is just a, another golf shirt. This one is Tiger Woods. That's fine. <laughs> Blue golf polo. This is mod cloth. I think this must be a pajama top. Um, it has coffee on it or tea. And it's just so cute and it's so bright and um, I had to have it size large. Okay. I'm so sorry about that. That probably looks really bad. Anyway. These, this is Nike um, Red Tag. I don't know if that's Nike Tech. If that's Nike Tech, tell me. But it's just a cardigan sweatshirt. It has good pockets. Um, it is, maybe has more pilling than I would like otherwise, but it has a like a dolman sleeve. It's so soft. So cozy, size small, but super oversized. So I grabbed it. These are some Lucy brand cropped workout pants. They have cute little Lucy buttons. There's the Lucy tag. They're size large. These are just Gap. Oh, yeah, they're Gap. They're relaxed boyfriend, but this is why I bought them. They are super distressed and they are button fly. So somebody's gonna want them. I know some people pick up Gap just in general. I haven't had very much luck with that, but with the super distressed jeans, I do. They're still not big money makers, but they're certainly worth grabbing if I'm already there at the bins. This is another Lucky Brand, size medium, kind of boho peasant top, little ties. Does it have the other little tie? Yep. Little ties. These do okay for me. These are some Penguin Brand men's shorts. These might wind up going to a friend of mine. I also found a little um, button-up penguin shirt, men's shirt. It had little bicycles on it. It was really cute. But that's in the bin for my helper, whose husband is probably going to take them. These are a 32 striped, like new condition. Cute little penguin on the back. I do pretty well with penguin. This and that shirt are both his size. I suspect they won't make it online. These are just a pair of Levi's 7-Eleven skinny, size 27. I never pick up Levi's other than 501s or super vintage, um, but somebody recently said that this tag, the long skinny tag with the number, is worth picking up. And I probably would have picked these up anyway because they're cool. They're skinny jeans, they're distressed, they're a size 27. They're very stretchy. They got a lot going for them. These are Lucky Brand. They're purple. They're a size four. They're the Hayden Skinny. They won't sell for much, but again, if I'm at the bins and I'm already picking all that stuff up, what's another pair of jeans? These are Prana size 12, women's shorts. 
I almost always buy Prana, even the older stuff. Um, did I already do that? Even the older stuff is totally worth it at the bins for me. Um, eventually they sell. The older ones take quite a bit longer, but even they eventually sell. Okay, this is another, this one I really think is handmade. You see the seams? It's definitely handmade, but this is such a fun shirt. <laughs> and oddly, this was at a different outlet from the first one that I showed. Um, sorry to have to take the time to snap them up now, but this is a long sleeve pearl red snap button up. Super cute cuffs. These little points here and the big point seam on the back. Checkered. It feels like the softest cotton ever. <laughs> Love it. I do really well with those. I wish I'd found them before Halloween, but they'll still sell. This is Tiger Woods collection another, but this one is women's, I'm pretty sure. No, just kidding. This one's also men's. It's kind of a teal. It does say uh, Pumpkin Ridge Golf Course on there. It has this back, black stripe on the back. It's Nike. This one's Nike. Um, I think it's the same size as that blue one. I'll probably sell them together. These... These are Love by Gap. Um, they are new with tags. They're just holiday flannel pajama bottoms. I think I was looking for the top and I thought if I found the top two, I would buy them. Apparently I bought them anyway. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, these are, I just sold this exact pair of pants. These are Lane Bryant. Um, dress pants. Oh gosh, they keep coming undone. Well, there you go. These are Lane Bryant dress pants. These are a six petite vanity sizing. I have to relook it up what that actually means. Career pants, larger sizes. Good deal. These are seven for all mankind. I do pick it up. I can't not, and then I always regret it. These, however, are men's, and they're Austin. And they're beat in, beat in. They're a little bit distressed. Um, men's, Seven for All Mankind does fine. I do pick up the dojos, of course. I've been known to pick up others, too. And then I sit on them for a really long time, and then I usually regret it, although at the bins, when it's a dollar, the regret isn't that big. These are also Pilcro and the letter press. These are size 28. They're just jeans. That says something, but I can't read it. Just a dark wash jean. They have a very little bit of distressing. The bottoms have definitely been walked on, which will reduce what I can sell them for. Um, but like I said, I do pretty well with Pilcro, so I bought them anyway. Sorry, this is so long. Do I do three parts? That's not so. Okay. These are Torrid Denim. Um, I know a lot of people said these are 10 regular. Um, a lot of people say they don't pick up Torrid Denim anymore. Um, I literally just sold these yesterday in a darker wash. Um, they took a little while to sell, but again, when in Rome. Okay, these are Madewell extremely wide leg jeans. The bottoms are definitely distressed. I don't think it's intentional. 
but maybe it is. I'll look up the stock photo. They are wide leg crop, size 28. Madewell jeans do really, really well for me. Um, they both drive a lot of traffic and they also always sell. Okay, y'all still hanging in there? What are you doing in there, little fish? Okay, I found a couple of things from this brand called Pig. Nope, Fig. <laughs> um, this is just like a yoga skirt. The material is really fabulous. Uh, made in Canada. I don't really know that it's a thing, but it felt really high end. Maybe it's from Walmart. I don't know. Didn't cost much. These are also Lucky Brand. Uh, sweet straight lucky brand size 10 or 30 it's good size it's fine okay you're gonna try and speed this up here these are cut from the cloth they are I don't know what they're cut from the cloth something or other dark wash Again, jeans, they're so easy to photograph and they're so easy to ship. I just buy them. These are also fig. These are just some workout pants. This, I always pick up Harry Potter t-shirts when I see them. This just says nine and three quarters. On the side, it says platform nine and three quarters for Hogwarts. This says Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Just a graphic t-shirt. These are older tag Lucky Sweet and Crop, size four or 27. Again, when they have the name, I feel like someone might have that favorite pair of jeans and they're looking for a replacement. This is an Adidas sweatshirt. I loved this one. I always pick up the trefoil if I see it, but especially just this like kind of streetwear hoodie. I don't know, I really liked it. It's a size medium. Okay. This is just the Gap, but it's a fun, chunky winter sweater. It is a size large. I also got um, four or five vintage wool sweaters. They're in the hand wash pile, which is not right here, so. Y'all won't see those. These are just some Lucy brand trail pants. Size four, orange Lucy tag, cargo pockets. This is a Jacques flannel shirt. Jacques flannels, I haven't looked up on Poshmark, but I used to be able to do pretty well with them on eBay. They're really expensive um, retail. They're really thick, beautiful flannel. This is totally just a Land's End cardigan but it's this really beautiful butter yellow, which I'm totally not gonna be able to see because my walls are yellow, but I love it. It reminds me of a kindergarten teacher. And this is Mickey by No, size small, flannel shirt with, where'd you go? I know you're here somewhere with Mickey on the pocket. <laughs> I love it. Love it. So cute. Okay, I think all I have left, excuse me, is the stuff that I dropped that way. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I also have some other stuff. I'm gonna try and just breeze through it really quick. Okay, this is also a pair of Lucky jeans. 
These are men's size 34, 32. That's the same thing. Again, men's lucky jeans do well for me. This, my 12 year old wears her one of these everywhere she goes. It's stitch. It's a hoodie. This is tiny. It will not fit anyone I know. But some other person needs to have this because my daughter loves hers and I literally couldn't leave it there. These are the limited Cassidy Fit dress pants. I only got these because while they don't have the tags, they still have the buttons. Straight leg career pants. I don't know. This has a lot of yuck on it. And I'm gonna need to do some work. See, it's got like super yucky stuff. But it is Columbia, it is a fishing vest. I always do well with these. So I bought it. This is also cut loose, but this one is a large, extra large. I'm not sure if this is pajamas. It might be. I think it's flannel or it could be a tunic. It does not have pockets. I don't know what it is. It's really soft and it's definitely lagging look. This is, okay, I don't know this brand. It's called Wilt and it's just black, but it felt like really good quality feels linen blend of some sort. I grabbed it. This is just a halogen. This will not sell for much, but it's an extra large. It's a cardigan. That's a really fun dark teal color. These are just express editor pants. I never pick these up except that I wound up with a pair I didn't know I picked up and they sold. So I grabbed these. Sometimes you just find something by accident. Okay, this is just a fun retro polka dot dress with tulle that sticks out the bottom. I will probably save this and wear it for some sort of costume. It's called Hot. It's just fun. Um, it will fit me. It's fun. Okay, is that everything? I also found, oh, just kidding. These are, oh, these are PGA Tour 3232 men's golf pants. Again, I'll probably lock them up with something else. And all this stuff I shoved into this big Eagle Creek duffel which I also always sell when I find them. So I will sell the bag as well. Okay, just a couple other little things. This is an uh, RVCA hat. I buy that brand as well. It sells. This is a rip, cur rip curl hat. This one says Mama Bear. This is an entire bag full of um, vintage iron-on transfers. I need to sort them, make sure the parts are there. Those will sell. This is a New York City Ipsy bag. I will keep that. This is a cosmetic bag from U Saint Laurent. I don't know if anyone will want that, but it has the little key thing, which is still in its plastic. It barely weighed anything, so I grabbed it. This is a Just Levi's Pearl Snap Levi's Chambray uh, Western style denim shirt. This is a slide box. I always sell those, sell for 25 bucks. These are hilarious. They apparently don't sell very well. They're really dirty. 
but they're Birkenstocks, and when you put them together, they make a horse. So funny. This is another the sack, I think. Yep, the sack. So this is just a fun kind of boho style bag. I really like this one. And this is a, um, now the guinea pigs are going crazy in the background if you can hear them. This is just a Herschel little crossbody. This bag, um, I grabbed it because it was made in Italy. It's genuine leather, made in Italy. It's really pretty. The inside is clean. Comps looked okay. Not fabulous. Certainly worth grabbing at the bins. And the last thing my kids think are so creepy. These are vintage paper mache Christmas carolers. There are five. No, there are four. Come on. Come out of the basket. <laughs> They're funny. I'm not gonna pull the fourth one up. They will sell all day on eBay. And this guy is to hold your glasses, and I just think he's adorable. Okay, that's it, y'all. Thank you so much. If you really hung in here for 36 and a half minutes, I am so extremely grateful. I promise, I'm gonna keep getting better. I cannot believe as many people watched my first one as did. I'm still shocked. I'm so grateful. It makes it feel a little bit less awkward and insane to do these videos, to know that someone might watch them and someone might find them interesting or valuable. I've learned so much from other people. If anyone is learning anything from anything I pick up, I uh, just, that would be great. Anyway, um, thanks so much for watching. If you want to give this video a thumbs up, that would be awesome, or subscribe. I plan to keep putting out more videos and trying to get a little bit less scared every time. I hope you all are having a beautiful day and making lots of sales. Thanks so much for watching.